The Pike County Jailer says one of his deputies had to take off work after an inmate attacked her. Pikeville Police arrested Tina Sampson a couple days ago for driving under the influence. WYT's Alex Casper-Peak spoke to Sampson and the jailer about the attack that left two people with injuries. Officials say when deputies booked Tina Sampson Wednesday, she was intoxicated and combative. We asked her to stop several times before she hurt herself, you know, caused herself an injury. Deputies tell us Sampson was banging on the walls asking for her phone call. After asking her to stop multiple times, they entered her cell. As soon as the door opened, she became combative, um, attacked one of our female officers. Sampson does admit to being under the influence. Benzo. What are they? Xanax and um, they're rotten. So I don't remember what led up to that. But she says she does not remember attacking Deputy Jeller Angie Dodson and accuses the Jellers of injuring her. I didn't come in here like this. They did this. Yes, absolutely they did this. As for the deputies involved, they say they took the necessary action to get Samson off of Dodson. The, me and the male deputy even had to wrestle her onto the bed to restrain her. She was trying to fight with us also. Samson says she asked to see a nurse multiple times but is yet to be seen. The jail showed us documents proving she saw a nurse the day after the incident. In Pike County, Alex Casper Peak, WYMT Mountain News. The jailer charged Sampson with assaulting an officer, among others. Besides a few scratches on her face and missing a chunk of her hair, Deputy Jailer Dotson is expected to be okay.